Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is a Sephora haul and try on. I picked up a few things in the Sephora sale, mostly lip products, so I'll be trying them all on for you today. I do have another few things coming, but they won't be here for a few days, so I'll have to do a part two to this video. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and now let's get into it. I purchased two lip oils in this sale. The first one is the Merit Tinted Lip Oil in the shade Taupe, and this one is a really pretty light shade of brown. It has a pretty small doe foot applicator, and it feels very thin and lightweight. It's got a really nice glossy finish to it, and you can see it definitely has a really nice tint. So these have a lot of color to them. There are a few shades in this line, and I wanted to pick one that was really neutral, so I thought this would be the perfect color. Let's try it on. The only thing about the doe foot applicator being so small is that I find that I do have to dip back into it to do my top lip. I feel like there's just not enough product left after applying on my bottom lip. And it is so thin, so comfortable. It definitely feels like an oil. I feel like some brands lately are putting out products and calling them lip oils when really they're more of a lip stain or they have more of a thicker lip gloss texture. This really feels like a lip oil. It's exactly the texture that I was hoping it would be. It feels very hydrating and it just gives a nice tint. You can wear this alone or you can top this over lipstick. And I also love the packaging, the Merit lipsticks and their lip oils. They look so luxe and high-end. And compared to the Signature lipstick, it is pretty much the same size. So I'm really happy that I got this one. I also picked up the In Beauty Project Glaze Lip Oil in the shade Frosé. This one is one that I discovered after I did my Sephora wishlist video. I heard a lot of people raving about this lip oil and I could not pass up trying this shade. It's a really pretty icy pink. What I love about this lip oil is the doe foot applicator. It's got a really nice wide doe foot applicator, perfect for just one swipe on your top and bottom lip, and I love this shade. When I swatch it on my skin, it looks clear, but when you apply it to the lips, it takes on more of a light pink color, and it smells like pink lemonade. This lip oil feels a little bit thicker in consistency than the Merit lip oil. It feels a little bit more like a lip gloss rather than an oil but it is really hydrating. It's extremely glossy. I love this shade. I feel like it's the perfect light icy shade of pink. It's got a very subtle shimmer to it, but it doesn't look overly shimmery or like glittery on the lips. It really makes the lips look very plump. It's also very comfortable. When I press my lips together, they don't stick together. There are a few more shades in this range of lip oils, and some of them look like they might be more sheer, and maybe those have more of an oily consistency to them. But overall, I'm really liking this. I'm glad that I have one with a little bit of a light pink tint to it. I could see myself wearing this with just a lip liner and this gloss by itself. So I think this one's gonna be a staple in my makeup bag and probably something that I often throw in my purse and take with me on the go. This next lipstick might be my favorite in this whole order. It's the YSL Rouge Philippe de Shine lipstick. I chose the shade number 44. Now on my Sephora wishlist video, I had the shade 150 in my cart, but then I went in stores and I swatched it and this shade was actually more of what I thought 150 was going to be. I wanted something that was going to be a really light shade of pink, and 44 is perfect. It is a beautiful light pink shade. It looks really glossy. These are so hydrating. They are a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip balm. So you can see it's got just a sheer wash of color and it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. And it just looks so pretty on the lips.
On the Sephora website, they describe the shade as a pinky beige, but I feel like there's not too much of a beige undertone to this. On me, it really looks like a very neutral pink, and it's got a little bit of a brightness to it. I feel like the more I layer it up, the more pink it becomes, or I can apply just one to two swipes and get a really you know, sheer wash of pink on the lips. Ever since I got the shade uh, Chili Morocco, which is this really beautiful red, I wanted a pink lipstick in this, something that I could wear every day. I just love the packaging. I think it is so incredibly gorgeous. And it's also really, really comfortable. I love having just an everyday lipstick that has a lip balm quality to it, something you can throw on the lips without needing to look in the mirror, and that's exactly what this is. So I am so in love with this. It's definitely gonna be one of my holy grail lipsticks. It's probably gonna live in my purse. A few days ago, I picked up the Merit Signature Lightweight Lipsticks in the shades Slip and Baby. I got these in store. So the shade Slip is a beautiful beigey brown shade. You can do a really sheer layer of lipstick and get just this beautiful like warmth of a chestnut hazelnut brown on the lips where you can really build this up for more of a rich color. These lipsticks are so so lightweight and comfortable. That's the one thing I really love about it. I don't know that I have a more comfortable traditional lipstick than this and I love how it's got just a very slight sheen to it so it leaves the lips looking really hydrated. I love this formula so much that I also purchased the shade Tiger which is a brick red. I've actually been wearing red lipstick a lot more often in my day to day. Even when I'm home and I'm not going anywhere, I'm just working from home, I've been throwing on a red lip. And since I love the formula of this lipstick so much, I thought that I would try out some of the red shades. So this is Tiger. And I also ordered the shade Cabo, which is more of an orange red, but that one's not here yet. I feel like this is a very unique shade of red. It's very subtle. It's got some brown undertones to it, which I think makes it really wearable for every day. And it's just, again, that really beautiful lightweight formula, which doesn't seem to move around much on the lips. So I don't feel like it will, you know, migrate outside of the lip lines. I'm going to try it on first without lip liner, and then I will apply some lip liner because that's how I would typically wear it. Here it is applied. I built up the color, applied about three to four swipes, and what I really love about it is that there's a bit of a sheer quality to it. Like even at its most rich color, it's not fully saturated, and that's what I think makes it so wearable. I really love the shade too. I feel like it's like the perfect toned down red with a little bit of a hint of brown to it, and it's got some warmth, which I think is perfect for my neutral to slightly warm undertone. So I'm really loving this. I'm also going to show you what it looks like paired with lip liner. So I'm going to use the shade Nude Beige from NYX. Here it is paired with the lip liner. I love the way that looks because my natural lip line is kind of fading a little bit. So I feel like having the lip liner to accentuate just my natural lip shape really helps to make my lips look a little bit fuller. I think that red lipstick can sometimes make my lips look thinner than they are. So I would pair this with a lip liner and I really like using that nude beige color instead of a red because it just makes the lip look a little bit more natural. And since Tiger has some brown undertones to it, that lip liner just paired with it so nicely. I also bought the Merit lipstick in the shade Baby and that one is described as a neutral pink but on me the tone pulled very gray and very mauve and even though the formula of the lipstick is so beautiful it's just not the shade of pink that i was hoping it would be and i think that on me those gray undertones came through way too much and it just didn't suit my 
my skin tone very well, so I ended up returning baby. And the last thing that I got is the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. This works so well to clean your makeup sponges. It really gets off all of the stains, all of the foundation, concealer, and what I really like about this is it comes in such a convenient little case. It's got a little silicone mat, which you can use to clean your sponges. You can even use this to clean your makeup brushes. And then the solid comes in this little case, but you just keep it in here. The way that I clean my sponges is I just saturate them with water, pick up some of the cleanser, and then rinse it out under the water until it's completely clean. Then when you're done using the mat, you can store it right back into the case on top of the cleanser solid, and you are good to go for the next time. These also last quite a while, so it's definitely worth picking up in the sale. I probably will not need to get a new one until next year. That wraps up a part one of my Sephora haul. I do have a few more things coming, so we'll do a part two in a few days. And I would love to know what did you guys pick up during the sale? Leave us a comment or did you skip the sale completely? Let us know. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye.